Hey guys, and welcome to the Pedalhead Show. I'm your host, Benny Grudzinski. Hope you're having an awesome day. Today, I'll be showing you how to modify a GCB95 Crybaby Wah pedal to have some extra gain and bass to the circuit while changing our Wah pedal's frequency spectrum lower as we go. In order to do this, you guys can check out my last video on how to change the frequency spectrum of your Crybaby Wah pedal or Box V87 by using capacitors in parallel with C2, which is a 0.01 unifarad capacitor. For those who don't know, when you put two capacitors in parallel, it adds up to make the total capacitance C1 plus C2 will give you total capacitance. If you have three capacitors in parallel, C1 plus C2 plus C3 will give you your total capacitance. It's pretty simple. So in order to lower our watt pedal spectrum, we add capacitors in parallel that brings the total capacitance up and when we bring the total capacitance up of C2 we move that spectrum lower giving you more of a growl kind of wah pedal or the spectrum of a bass crybaby wah pedal. So I found after doing the spectrum change with my crybaby wah pedal with the double pull double throw switch I thought that you know the resonant peak would get sharper and it wouldn't really add a lot of lows it would just kind of shift everything and make it sound a little less interesting. So I looked at other modifications I can do to my GCB95 and I came across the modification that I'll be showing you today, which is the bass and gain boost mod. In order to add more bass and gain to the circuit, we have to look at R4 in the schematic. R4 is part of the active filter in the circuit and R4's value is 390 ohms. What we have to do is reduce it. In order to reduce this resistor we can simply swap it out with a lower value of let's say 250 ohms or 275 ohms but as soon as you realize you do this modification you might want to go back to the stock sound. So what I did was incorporate the last modification of the frequency spectrum modification and the bass and gain modification with the same double throw double pull on off on switch on one side we have the capacitors that go to c2 in parallel and when you switch the double pull double throw switch to the left or the right you add capacitance to c2 thus bringing down the frequency spectrum but using a double pull double throw switch as if it was like two single pull double throw switches you can use the other side of the double pull double throw switch to place two resistors of a higher value than R4 to be in parallel with R4. Now what does that mean? Well my friends when we add a resistor in parallel with another resistor we actually lower the total amount of resistance but unfortunately the math that we have to do to understand what value we'll get if we put two resistors in parallel isn't as easy as putting two capacitors in parallel. In order to do this, I'll show you the mathematical formula that you can follow, but if you're not as math savvy as some people, you can simply use the link in the description below to find what the total amount of resistance would be if you put a certain value of resistor with a 390 ohm resistor. To do that, I looked at my pack of common values of resistors and I put numbers in and I was able to decide that I wanted to use a 720 ohm resistor and a 1k ohm resistor. The 1k ohm resistor with the 390 ohm resistor will give me a total of 280 Ohms. The 720 resistor in parallel with the 390 resistor will give me total resistance of 254. Now in the last video of changing the frequency spectrum, I chose 0.022 unifarad in parallel with 0.01 and I also chose a 0.01 unifarad. So therefore, when switching to the 0.01 in parallel with an already 0.01 will give me a total capacitance of 
0.02 unifarad. That will give me kind of a mid ballpark low, kind of more like a Jimi Hendrix-like wah pedal. And the higher value of 0.022 unifarads with the 0.01 unifarad C2 in parallel will give me total capacitance of 0.032. Thus, this gives me the stock frequency spectrum when the switch is in the middle in the off position and to the right we have a middle ballpark Jimi Hendrix like frequency spectrum good for blues and all that and then when we hit the switch to the left we get a lower and deeper wah pedal frequency spectrum that gives you almost like a bass wah sound or a fake talk box sound now, back to the resistor for this modification. The lower that I choose, the lower value of resistance that I choose will give me more bass and more gain. Thus, the 720 ohm in parallel with R4 should match up with the switch on the side that the capacitor is 0.022, which is the lowest, giving me a lower frequency spectrum the most bass and the most gain. On the other side, where I have a 0.01 unifaric capacitor in parallel with another 0.01 unifaric capacitor being C2, I have that middle of the road Jimi Hendrix spectrum. With that, I added the 1K resistor to that side of the double pull, double throw switch. Thus, when I switch it to that side, I get the Jimi Hendrix frequency, but I get a little bit more bass and a little bit of gain. This adds a more, this adds a more 3D effect to just moving your spectrum lower because sure it's moving lower, but the pedal isn't producing those frequencies. So when you shift your wah pedal up and down, it sounds a little uninteresting unless you do this awesome bass and gain modification with it. So as we see here in this video that I'm showing you, I already took off the old double pull, double throw switch. I'm adding on one side the 0.01 unifaric capacitor and the 0.022 unifaric capacitor on one side and then taking the other legs that stick out and twisting them together and soldering them to a AWG wire that goes to C2 in parallel. The middle lug of the double pull double throw switch on the capacitor side goes to the other leg of C2 creating a parallel circuit and you're basically going to do the same thing on the double pull double throw switch on the other side but with the two resistors in this case like I said I put the 1k resistor on the side of the 0.01 unifaric capacitor and I put the 720 ohm resistor on the 0.022 unifaric capacitor side of the double pull double throw switch take the other legs that are out twist them together solder one AWG wire to that twist and the middle lug of the resistor side goes to the other leg of the goes to the other leg of R4 to make this easier I recommend soldering to the back of the PCB where the points are but if you're good with a soldering iron you can solder the points to a new 390 ohm resistor and put them in place of R4, connect it to the switch, and you'll have the frequency spectrum mod with the bass and gain mod. And it will activate when you hit the double pull, double throw switch, either to the left or to the right. But in the middle, we'll give you the stock GCB95 bass and gain amount and frequency spectrum, which is the stock circuit sound.
Alright, now let's hear some sound demos. I'll show you guys how much it sounds different when I hit that switch. And you guys can hear this. I'm using my Line 6 Helix with Jazzer Vet 120 with a couple boss pedals. And then you'll also be hearing it with a Diesel VH4 Marshall combination amp preset. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And let's check out those sound demos. Wow, 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 wow,
All right, guys, thank you so much for sticking around to this episode of the Pedalhead Show. I was your host, Benny Krasinski. Hope you are enjoying modifying your stock Crybaby V Watt pedal as much as I did. Check out some more videos in the playlist right here. Have an awesome day. Keep rocking. Stay safe. Mm-hmm.